And now it's time for a hit of cool. It's Cool's Hit. Cool science, history, intellectualism, and technology. From Nature.com by Ewan Calloway. Antibodies, immune molecules that strongly attach to proteins implicated in disease, have conventionally been made using brute force approaches that involved immunizing animals or screening vast numbers of molecules. AI tools that can shortcut those costly efforts have the potential to democratize the ability to design antibodies, says study co-author Nathaniel Bennett a computational biochemist at the University of Washington in Seattle. Ten years from now, this is how we are going to be designing antibodies, he said. Uh, that's probably what I call ten scientist years. It's like the opposite of dog years. Bennett and his colleagues used an AI tool that their team released last year that has helped to transform protein design. The tool called RF Diffusion also researches to design many proteins that can strongly attach to another protein of choice. But those custom proteins bear no resemblance to antibodies, which have proved difficult to model with AI. To overcome this, a team co-led by computational biophysicist David Baker and computational biochemist Joseph Watson, both at the University of Washington, modified RF diffusion. The tool is based on a neural network similar to neural network commander data, lieutenant commander data. I've analyzed the recording. Most of it is quite ordinary. The tool is based on a neural network similar to those used by image generating AIs such as Midjourney and DAL-E. The team fine-tuned the network by training it on thousands of experimentally determined structures of antibodies attached to their targets, as well as real-world examples of other antibody-like interactions. Using this approach, the researchers designed thousands of antibodies that recognize specific regions of several bacterial and viral proteins, including those that SARS-CoV-2 and influenza viruses use to invade cells, and a cancer drug target. They then made a subset of their design in a laboratory and tested whether the molecules could bind to the right targets. Watson says that about 1 in 100 antibodies designed work as hoped, a lower success rate than the team can achieve with other types of AI-designed proteins. Um, The research determined the structure of one of the influenza antibodies using a technique called cryo-electron microscopy and found that it recognized the intended portion of the target protein. Watson stresses this is proof of principle work, but he hopes this initial success will pave the way for the design of antibody drugs at a touch of a button. It feels like quite a landmark moment. It really shows this is possible. (laughs) 